Pravin Chajaratnam, Director of Academics in Imperial College and Strategic Consultant at Harvard Pro Academy. I'm going to quickly talk to you about something which is very relevant. SEMA has just announced their latest syllabus change. And quite a few of you might be worried about what changes there might be, how this is going to have an impact on the exams, when the current syllabus examinations will end, and exactly how you are to progress from the current syllabus to the new syllabus. Not to worry, we at Ario Pro have you covered. Await our series of videos which will explain to you exactly what the syllabus changes are, what the progression arrangements are, together with exactly what timeline surround the syllabus change. So the SEMA syllabus change. Let's look at an overview of exactly what the new structure looks like. So they've still got the four levels. That's not changed. It's still the four levels. You've still got the certificate level, you've got the operational, the management, and the strategic levels. So they still stay the same. You've still got the three pillars, right? And you've still got the same number of subjects and examinations. So, what exactly has changed? The changes lie in the enterprise pillar. And you'll notice that E1 has changed, the name has definitely changed. You have Managing finance in a digital world, right, which is coming. And E2, also you seem to have a bit of a change in terms of the name of the module, where which is now managing performance. Whereas the rest of the modules, all of them have had no name change. It stays, the short forms used for each of the modules have stayed the same, but it's just these two particular modular subjects that have gone through name changes and quite a bit of a change in terms of the content. So, uh, what is the logic behind the new syllabus that was devised by SEMA? Quite a bit of what has been brought in to the syllabus is around the digital era that we are in at the moment. So, SEMA's CGMA competency framework initially had four sets of skills, which was then surrounded, of course, by ethics and integrity and professionalism. But what they've done with the new syllabus is kept the four skills, kept ethics, integrity, and professionalism right there, but they brought in digital skills. So, this is what the new competency framework looks like. The whole syllabus has been developed on the mindset of three basic things. Questions, so you need to keep questioning uh, everything around you. Act quickly, in other words, respond to the information that you're getting. Learn from it, unlearn and relearn. Because things change around you so quickly that what you've learned might be irrelevant in, in a few days, if not sometimes a, a few hours. So it's about learning, unlearning, and relearning. 